Hi, so um, thanks for being part of the free clean eating group. So I'm going to show you how to make the marinated baked bake tempeh. And since we're prepping for five days worth at um, four ounces per serving, then um, this is how many we have. So I bought some of these. So this one is eight ounces. So if we uh, cut them into strips, then um, at each serving is four ounces. You get two servings per, per packet. And this one is gluten-free. If you buy the one at Trader Joe's, it's not gluten-free because it has some barley in it. So make sure you watch out for that. And um, the ingredients in this is cultured organic soybean water, organic white rice, mm -hmm. and that's it. And it's been fermented. And so if you have ever, if you zoom in, you can kind of see it looks a little scary, but it's really fine. It's just a soybean that has been fermented and cultured. So it looks a little odd, but it's a great source of protein. And once you cut it up, it, it looks like this. But it's nutty, it's delicious, and it's pretty plain tasting. So it's a lot like tofu in the aspect that it will take on any flavor that you add to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a marinade out of some aminos, some vinegar, some sesame oil, some maple syrup, and some fresh chopped garlic. And if you want a little bit of kick, then I recommend that you put in some cayenne pepper or a little bit of red hot, um, red crushed chili flakes. <coughs> so the recipe calls for um, half of, um, so it calls for two tablespoons of liquid aminos, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, uh, one and a half teaspoon of the um, sesame oil, and one half teaspoon of maple syrup. And since we're preparing, um, since we're preparing for five days worth, then I'm just gonna add, multiply, since each of these, I bought three of these, and since we're making six of these, I'm gonna multiply everything by six. So we'll start with the liquid aminos. So I'm gonna add 12 of these, because as for two tablespoons, we're doing six of these. One. Same thing with the apple cider vinegar. So this is a marinade you're making, and you're actually going to um, marinate it for 30 minutes, and then you're going to turn it after 30 minutes and then bake it. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we'll add some of this maple uh, sesame oil. Do nine teaspoons. You want to add the, um, do the sesame oil before you do the maple syrup using the teaspoon so the maple syrup doesn't stick to the spoon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then you just add your, your cloves of garlic and a quick trick to, um, Getting the skin of the clove of garlic off is you take your knife and you put the blade against the garlic and you smash it like this. And you can see the skin comes right off. And that's a really fast and easy way to remove the skin instead of like trying to stand there and peel it. The other thing you can do is you can buy pre-peeled garlic. It does like this. So I'm just going to chop this up really fast. To your marinade. Garlic adds so much flavor to everything. It adds a little bit of a kick, which I love. Since I'm nursing, um, Ava can't do too much um, spiciness, so I'm not going to add the red hot chili flakes, but I recommend that you do, especially if you like stuff a little spicy. So you stir it really well, and then we're going to um, cut the tempeh into one inch pieces. I cut them a little thinner but you can stick to the directions and stick them, cut them to um, half an inch. 
I needed to measure out to see how much was one serving because uh, I'm using the 21 day fixed container system and so um, four ounces will fit in one container so that's one serving of protein. If you eat two servings of protein for lunch and two servings for dinner then you definitely want to um, double the recipe to your preference. So now I'm going to slice up the tempeh. scary at the end so then I would just not double it like that that's it so then we're just gonna layer it in here um, and then remember put it in the refrigerator cover it and marinate it for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes you uh, flip it and then you're going to bake at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes and then you're midway you're going to flip them and then you are going to um, bake another 10 15 minutes on 350 and once it's golden brown it's good to go so that's pretty much it um so i'll post this on our challenge group so that you guys can um check it out so you can see how to do it and let me know if you have any questions just call me text me or put comments thanks for watching